Hello every Bot Stallions, Handsome Jackboy here, bringing you guys the 23rd episode. Yes, that's right, the 23rd episode of my Borderlands Unique Weapons Guide. Now you guys might be wondering, what the heck, 23rd? You just went from 20th to 23rd. Well, guys, guess what? I actually screwed up the playlist, the Unique Weapon Guide playlist, because I usually, you know, see what episode is next through the you know, Weapon Guide playlist, and like... I guess I forgot to, uh, you know, add a couple episodes and it screwed everything up, so this is actually the 23rd episode. Last two episodes were the 21st and 22nd. I wanted to get that out there just to, uh, let you guys know about that. And then the two episodes before that were the 20, or the 19th and 20th. So, the last two episodes I actually thought was the 19th and 20th again for the second time, and I thought I hit a 20th episode milestone twice, so, which I didn't, so I'm, a, I'm pretty stupid, guys, but anyway, though. So yeah, the, today's episode is the 23rd episode, and as you can see there, I'm going to be talking about Reaver's Edge. Reaver's Edge is a unique sniper rifle, and as you can see there in the red text, it says the cutting edge. That means that Reaver's Edge has 3.2 times weapon zoom, plus 2 magazine size, and high tech. Alrighty guys, to get this bad boy, what you want to do is you want to fast travel on over to Crom's Canyon once again, just like in the last episode, except that in this episode you gotta go kill a side boss known as Reaver, hence the name of the gun itself. Now Reaver is located on the other side of Crom's Canyon, just kind of follow where my uh, cursor goes, that's kind of the path you want to take, right over here. Now guys, Reaver, I'm kind of going to speed it up here for you guys, because um, I want to show you the path you want to take. There's going to be some spider ants along the way, so you kind of want to watch out, and some bandits, because once you get near Reaver, there's going to be... You know, a little bit of a bandit camp coming up here after the spider ants, and it's not too bad, but, you know, once you get into Reaver's little area, I'll kind of, actually, I'll kind of explain it once we get there. But anyway, though, so you get, uh, you get to fight Reaver through the side mission called Two Wrongs Make a Right, because uh, the mission actually allows you to go kill him, and after that, you can just come back here and keep farming all you, all you want, and, uh, Reaver actually drops the Reaver's Edge I think all the time so it's a guaranteed drop but anyway though you get two wrongs make a right from uh, completing the previous side mission uh, before that which is missing persons it's kind of like a part two to that quest and you get missing persons from the New Haven bounty board I think if you just once you get far enough in the game so anyway here's uh, Reaver's little area well, outside of Reaver's little area and there's a gate now I was kind of confused for a second but there's actually a switch up here you gotta pull in Watch out, guys. This is what I was saying. There's a lot of bandits behind this gate, so you just want to eliminate them all. I just had the Ajax over, just mowing them all down. Um, and there's a badass psycho here. So there's a lot of bandits, guys. You've got to be careful. Uh, come prepared, because, yeah, the, this, these bandits can be a pain sometimes. But as you can see, there's even more bandits. Just kept spawning, it seems like. Uh, but once you kill all these guys, Reaver will come out of his, his little hole, as you can see right there. And, uh,. Look at this, guys. He almost took me out. He, uh, with his Reaver's Edge, he just, uh, because he's using that, obviously, but, uh, he almost took me out in one shot right there. Because, uh, his variation of the Reaver's Edge this time was, uh, explosive. I think you get it in, uh, different, like, variations, different elements. So, as you can see, he dropped it. Like I said, it's guaranteed drop, guys. Now, showing off the gameplay of this basically gun. Alrighty guys, so the usage and description section here on the wiki for the Reaver says, uh, Reaver's Edge is a standard semi-automatic sniper rifle with a very powerful scope, second only to the Cyclops in its magnification. This scope makes the weapon difficult to use at close range. Very true. Uh, it can spawn with any barrel stock or accessory as well as either of the semi-auto sniper rifle bodies or magazines, so different versions will differ greatly in potential application. Okay guys, so there's that, but uh, there's one more thing I wanted to read here on the wiki. It says under drop guy, it says may spawn with doll penetrator barrel to make it fully automatic. So that means the Reaver's Edge can be a hybrid weapon. Now if you guys don't know what a hybrid weapon is, it's basically when a unique weapon spawns with a legendary accessory. Uh, makes it very powerful usually, and uh, that'd be freaking sweet guys. This thing could spawn with the freaking penetrator hole, man, that'd be see uh, sweet. So if you guys end up you know trying to farm this thing I recommend trying to go for that I might cover that in a later guide so uh, maybe expect a uh, hybrid weapon guide series coming up I'm not sure it's probably gonna be after this unique weapons guide playlist we'll see so anyway though guys my opinion about this thing uh, it's an alright sniper rifle guys I mean I love the Reaver's Edge but I think the version the variation that I spawned with isn't that good I mean, it, as you can see, it's it's taken a while to you know kill these guys, even with critical hits. 
Um, and the accuracy just seems like it's very poor on this thing. I don't know, maybe it's just me just having a hard time aiming. But I really love the Revo's Edge. I just think this explosive version isn't the best version that you can get because you can get, like, I think it said here on the wiki, right, that you can get it with uh, different elemental types. So maybe the, the explosive elemental type isn't the best. I don't know, guys. I just didn't have very much luck. As you can see, it's taken me a while to kill this bruiser. I don't know though guys, maybe it's just not the best weapon to use on playthrough 2.5. Maybe it's just kind of like a, a weapon that you won't, you want to use uh, kind of like on playthrough 1 and just going through playthrough 2. Maybe it's just something you don't want to come back and farm for unless you're going for like the hybrid weapon which is uh, guys up at this thing. Like I said, penetrator, oh man, that would be freaking crazy guys. Fully automatic, oh man, that'd be sick. And if guys, imagine this thing freaking explosive fully automatic, then we will clear house. <laughs> maybe it was just the zoom guys maybe the zoom was the problem that was kind of why it was hard to aim I don't know I love the Cyclops though that's that's that thing's beast because like it said here on the wiki you know I've and I've covered it too that that thing had you know has pretty good zoom as well so if you guys like sniping this thing you know I'm pretty sure it's for you because it has really long ranged you know long range scope so you can you can pick guys off from uh, even greater distance, but for me, I'm not really a sniper, so it's, it was really kind of hard for me to use this thing. But uh, the penetrator version, yeah, that thing is probably going to be a bit easier, but I do love the Reaver's Edge. I do love the Reaver's Edge. But anyway, though, guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Um, sorry about the playlist screw up and what happened with that. Um, I'm going to make sure that doesn't happen again. So. Yeah, expect some more uh, unique weapons, guys. There's only two left, I think. Two left, guys, so just two more episodes. Uh, yeah, it's going to be freaking beast. And then I might start a hybrid weapons guide. I'm not sure yet. I still need to work on Looters Live and Enemies Guide. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'm out of here. Peace!